this that the wrestler like that like Coleman hunger, like you know, he was not an erudite wrestler, you know. Roy Salter checked on it, but didn't do well. So you kind of have to leave it open. It's interesting, and it, it, it makes for good TV because it could be a train if it's a train wreck. Like, you know, when Kevin Jackson got submitted by Fred Shamrock relatively fast or, um, you know, any number of other incidents, uh, you know, among the wrestlers, a lot of them washed out. A lot of them high-level wrestlers washed out. So high-level wrestling credentials is great to have in your back pocket. But Matt Hughes wasn't that level of wrestler, you know. Yeah. So there's, yeah, some, MMA wrestling. there's some intangible there that just being an elite wrestler is not enough. It, it it put it this way, it would be one of the top categories you want if you're you know trying to build a fighter and stuff. So yeah, he's somebody maybe to keep an eye on, but I think they're way ahead and they're rushing at, at this point. You you got to find out a little bit more about about you know the mindset in a fight, and you got to test him in a fight because with an athlete like that, you can put him in three four times against guys he's just gonna outclass, but you know. Learn, you run the risk with a guy like that that if he's any good, he's learning on the job too. So it's a complicated, I'm going to watch because he is who he is. But I'm not saying that we have got a, a definite formula for success here. I'm, I'm leaving the book wide open on him. So Miguel, man, you made a ton of really good points there. I think what I take from it is Aaron Pico. If you look at Aaron Pico, you had Freddie Roach. You, I mean, obviously the jiu-jitsu uh, pedigree. Everybody was saying Aaron Pico is the real deal. Goes to Bellator, and it's just there's not really there's nothing but wolves at that level. Even like the guys with like the 500 records, those guys are wolves. They're in, in sheep's clothing. And Aaron Pico, when you have a couple setbacks like he did, it could destroy your confidence, and it it might take years and fights to build back. You hate to have somebody's first fight, real fight, in the UFC, like Miguel said, learning on the job.